Hey y'all, Georgie here from GSD Solutions with another amazing tutorial. Have you ever been in a meeting and wanted to allow somebody else to advance your slides? So let's say you're the facilitator or you're the host, or let's say you're co-presenters and you want one person to share the slides and then another person to be able to advance it when it's their turn, instead of saying, next slide, next slide, next slide. All right, how do you actually do that? Well. There's actually a feature and a setting inside of Zoom to do that. So you'd log into Zoom first. So a lot of this stuff, you have to start with the settings. Um, if you go into the actual Zoom meeting itself, these features will not be there unless you've activated them. So you're gonna go up to my account in the top left corner, top right corner of the screen. When you get to your account, you're gonna, on the left hand side, you're gonna click on setting. Inside of settings, you're going to type in slides. So, this one that pops up because I I'm not gonna search every bar. So use the search bar <laughs> and where you see meeting and meeting basic slide control. So during the presentation, allow another person to control the PowerPoint or keynote presentation. So we're gonna click activate. So that one is now activated. And now let's head on over to Zoom to see how it actually works in implementation. Alrighty, so now that we're in Zoom, the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna look at our friendly doc, right? <laughs> the Zoom doc. And so at first you won't see any specific settings that say allow somebody else to share your slides. That's okay. What you wanna go ahead and do is share your screen like you normally do. Um, I highly recommend if it's a specific screen. So the first thing I'll let you know is that this works from what I've tested with um, Google Slides, Microsoft SharePoint. So that's when you have um, the PowerPoint open on like Outlook on the internet. So that's on the internet. And then also if you downloaded the PowerPoint to your desktop. Um, with PDFs, it gets a little funky. Um, I have, I've done some tests and sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but your safest bet is a Google slide, a SharePoint slide, or just a regular PowerPoint. Those are your safest bets. So what you're gonna do is get the screen that you'd like to share. So here I have my Google slides um, as a Chrome tab. I'm gonna hit share. So what I'll see is the feature that says slide control. So now the feature actually pops up and it says slide control. And what I'm gonna go ahead and do now is put my slideshow in presentation mode. So now that my slides are in presentation mode, I'm going to go over to slide control and I'm gonna assign a person in my presentation the privileges. So I just assign Liberty and I can navigate the slides, right? Or Liberty could change the slide. So while a person is giving the presentation, somebody else is moving along the slides um, or the person that is speaking, right? The companion in that presentation is moving along the slides. So this just makes it a lot more seamless. So that way you could either have the person that is speaking not have to share um, without having to say next slide, somebody else is already controlling it. So just this gives a lot more flexibility to the folks when you're doing your Zoom sessions. So I hope this was super helpful. If you have any questions, of how this works or any um, concerns, just remember you can reach out to us at gsdsolutionsinc.com. We're always here and happy to support. If you like this video, let us know in the comments below, um, as well as go ahead and subscribe to our channel and like the video. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye.